All right, y'all, here is the cookout grocery haul. We're about to start cooking in just a little bit. We still have a couple of hours before we have to start cooking. I gave Titus the list and he went into the store to get the stuff real quick. We have two bags of charcoal. He got some yoo-hoo's. This was not on the list. This was not on the list, but I'm glad he got it. He got some wood so the kids can roast some marshmallows. Two packs of marshmallows for that and some of these marshmallow skewers. He got some cherry coke, regular coke there, and the kids love these little drinks right here. So he got a few different kinds of these. Two mango, two lime, and two fruit punch. Two packs of hamburger buns. My sister-in-law, they're bringing the hot dogs, hot dog buns, chips. They're also bringing some drinks and some steak. We're doing hamburgers, hot dogs, and steaks. So they're bringing half the stuff with them. We got some tomatoes, plates. Uh, no, it's not plates. That's cups, plates paper towels, ketchup and mustard. He also got two two liter Cokes. We're gonna have plenty of things to drink. I also already made a gallon of tea in the refrigerator. We have some onion. Titus got these two, what are these? New York strip steaks, a pack of potatoes. I thought about making a dessert, but I decided we'll just let Ingles make the dessert this time. We still have a little bit of that strawberry pretzel salad left though. Um, and then Titus, I just told him to get some cupcakes or something. So he got a little cheesecake sampler thing, a chocolate cake, donut holes, and two things of mini cupcakes here. He got carrot ones and then chocolate ones. And then there's our ground beef for the burgers. That's it. I'm going to put this stuff away because like I said, we don't need to start cooking for at least about another hour and a half. I got out my little trays right here. I can't remember for sure where I got these. I think it was Dollar General last year. Um, I have this long one here that says barbecue. I'm gonna put the lettuce, tomato, and onions and all on that one. And then I have this one that I'm gonna put the hamburger patties on whenever we get finished cooking those. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I got these from Dollar General. And welcome to Monday where it is now a little bit cold outside, windy and cloudy. We had fake spring, fake spring for a little bit and now it's back to feeling cold like this morning you needed a coat on again. It was craziness. So it is now Monday afternoon. We just finished eating lunch. I still have a few dishes I need to watch, uh, watch, wash. Cece and Manly are in there playing and like I told y'all the other day they get loud. She acts like different animals and he absolutely loves it. Okay, so I'm making some tea and I'm gonna wash these dishes up and then I'm gonna go ahead and make the rolls for supper tonight. We're gonna do the sweet chili chicken with some rolls, salad, and corn on the cob. Manly's little elephant spoon was sitting over there. I wanted to show it to y'all. I got it from Walmart and it says uh, baby tune on it. That's what it's called. A little girl actually invented these. Y'all probably already saw it maybe. It was on the Shark Tank show, I think. But anyway, it's this soft little spoon and it's really easy for babies to hold and feed themselves. He loves it. He doesn't want to eat with it though. He thinks it's just a toy so he carries it around like it's a toy. <laughs> I've tried to show him that you can eat with it but he's just like no it's just a fun toy but he does love it. Of course we all know what he calls it. A bull. He calls every animal a bull. I also have some laundry on the table and my second cup of coffee is over there on the desk. I needed this after lunch today because spring forward. It gets me every time. It always feels like it's only three and it's eight o'clock at night. It'll take me like a week or two to finally get adjusted. I love it though because more daylight. It won't get dark today until probably around eight o'clock. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna wash up these dishes and then we're gonna make some rolls. I 
Okay, so for these rolls, I'm gonna go through the recipe real quick with y'all. I made them a couple of weeks ago. There were a lot of questions about them. So, the first thing we're gonna put in is one packet of this active dry yeast. I'll give the measurements for how much yeast that is too, in case you don't have the packets, if you just have, you know, a big thing of yeast. Now we put in a one cup of warm water. It can't be too hot and it can't be too cold. It's gotta be just right, like baby bear's porridge right here. <laughs> it's gotta be just warm. So we pour in the warm water and then I just take a whisk and just whisk it around just a little bit. I don't put anything in here that's gonna be cold yet right away. Like you could also go ahead and take your egg out and have it sitting out and come to room temperature, but we can go ahead and put in the sugar and the salt. So we need a fourth of a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. We need two tablespoons of unsalted butter and I just chop them up into smaller pieces. Chopping it up just makes it a little easier to mix in whenever you start mixing it. So I'm gonna head and dump it in the butter. Now we'll put in the egg. And now we put in three cups of all-purpose flour. I could totally sift this with my sifter right now, but I wanna go ahead and get it done, so we're just gonna put it in. <laughs> so you don't have to sift it. I'm gonna get my hand mixer plugged up here. That's what this hole is for, y'all. There's a plug-in down here. And I'm gonna use the bread hook attachments. Somebody asked if you had to use these. You don't have to. Let me make sure I have the right ones here. These aren't the right ones, hold on. I still had some from my old hand mixer. Okay, so you don't have to use the bread hook attachments. You can just use regular beaters. The only thing is when you get done mixing it, you're gonna have to pull the dough out of the middle of the beaters, you know, cause it will get stuck in there and you'll have to probably shape it into the ball a little more yourself. The bread hook attachments help it to just go ahead and form into a ball pretty much on its own. But if you use the beaters, you'll just have to, you know, help it along a little bit. Okay, so you can see it already formed the dough ball. Now you just take your finger and feel of the dough. This is still a little bit too sticky. You don't want it to stick to your finger at all whenever you touch it. So this is where you can add a little bit more flour. You keep a fourth of a cup of flour out just for this reason to see if you need to add it in. So I'm gonna put in about a fourth of a cup there. We're gonna mix that in. Okay, now it's perfect. You see, I can touch it and it's not sticking to my hand. Now I just pull this off of the bread hooks here. I put a little bit of flour in my hand and I'm just gonna mix it just enough to mix in that that I just took off of the bread hook. So I just do it a very little bit. Just kind of roll it over there so that that gets mixed in. So now I just put a little bit of cooking spray around the sides of the bowl that way when the dough rises it doesn't stick to the sides of the bowl that's it now you just cover it with a dry towel and it's going to rise for about an hour and a half you want to go outside no no So we're gonna come out here and play for a little bit. I also need to clean up the backyard. We left some chairs and the stroller and all back there last night. I forgot it was back there. I'm glad it didn't rain. It wouldn't have mattered too much for the chairs, but I didn't want his stroller to get wet. Yeah. He'll also be ready for a nap after this. inside now when we came back in I'm punching this down now <laughs> when we came back in I rocked mainly for a little bit to see if he wanted to take a nap but he's not having it today he's going through a nap change all right so I just punched that down and now I'm just getting it back into a nice ball shape here all right I'm gonna put down a little flour on this cutting board 
And now I just fold it over a few times to get a really nice smooth top. Okay, so now once I get it into a nice circle shape there, I'm gonna take a knife. A pizza cutter also works really good for this because you can just roll it and cut it the way you need to cut it. So we need this to be in 16 different pieces. So first we cut it in half and then I'll set that half over to the side. Now I just kind of shape it again a little bit so I know that I'm gonna get two even pieces here. We cut it again. Now each one of these pieces, I take them, get them into a ball shape and we're gonna cut them into four even pieces. There's always gonna be some that are a little smaller or bigger than the other ones, so it's not a big deal. Once we get them into the four pieces, then I just take them and you put it in between your finger and your thumb, sorry, just like that. And then you're gonna push up on it. That gets, that's what gets the really nice roll shape. Then I always just kind of sit it in a little bit more flour and then we put it on the pan. Okay, so we tried to do the little bunny thing that you know you've seen on Pinterest where you can make your rolls look like bunnies. We'll see what this one looks like when it gets done. We're only gonna do that to one of them because I have a feeling it's gonna be looking scary. Okay, so now we cover the rolls again. They rise for 45 more minutes and then they're ready to go in the oven. Manny's got a bunny. Sissy got this bunny. What did it come with? Some kind of, what did this come with? It came with something the other day. He loves to watch it go. There it is, put it down, it's ready. There it goes. <laughs> he wants you to let it go, but when you let it go, then he stops it. <laughs> go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, y'all, sweet chili chicken about to go down. I'm gonna go ahead and put the chicken in the microwave. It needs to defrost just a little bit. This is really easy. We're just gonna cook it in the iron skillet and then put the sweet chili sauce on it at the end, just in time for it to warm up a little bit. I think I also put a little bit of other seasoning on it. So we're gonna put some salt, pepper, maybe a couple of other things and it'll cook with the seasonings on it and then we'll put the sweet chili sauce on at the end. Sissy's over here getting memory ready. We're gonna play it while we're cooking. Snow leopard, buffalo, gazelle, <gasps> snow leopard. <gasps> Oh. On the chicken, I'm just putting some salt and pepper and a little bit of this smoky mesquite seasoning. And I just have a little bit of oil in the skillet. Did I already say that? I have a little bit of oil in there. It didn't work. Cece's checking out the bunny one. Yeah, we'll have to get some smaller scissors to try it with. Mm -hmm. Our scissors were too big. So we've got those going. When they get done, we'll do the rest of the chicken. I've also got my water heating up for the corn on the cob. Let's take a look at that bunny roll. There it is. Yeah, we need a smaller pair of scissors, but I think it would be really cute. I mean, that one looks a little bit kind of scary. Mm -hmm. 